F is so specific, bro. He don't want you to talk over that beat. <laughs> You guys are like, well, you know, what you guys need to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's that beat. The beat didn't even drop, though. Oh, yeah. Anyways, we we'll appreciate y'all for another week. This is Cutting Away Podcast. Yeah. We got a show to work in Tap one time. Yeah. I would let Jamar start, but when nah. Jamar start, he go off the... <laughs> 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 we just start snapping our fingers for the poetry session. <laughs> it's a poetry jam. So I'm going to just start off a little bit. This is like a, a beat that you can talk about your day. So look. I woke up feeling lazy. My bank account checked it. Check is in the fucking savings. It said insufficient sons. I'm like, what the fuck? That's crazy. I pay my maintenance. I pay my bills. I got a six-figure queen and she wearing heels. I got the skills. I got a drill. I got her heels. I got her in the backseat with the back heat. Back heat strap. Pack seat. I'm out of breath, bro. Can you pick it up? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. So overall, it's got me snapped up. Strapped Today up. was a good damn day. What? Cutting weight. About to scrape my plate. Ooh. All day. Yeah, what you mean? Every day. Okay. Shawty hit me up and was like, yo, come over, babe. I say, hold on, babe. I gotta do cutting weight. Yeah. She said, fine. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. I love, I love, I love your dedication. <laughs> and what else? You, what you said after that? I don't like going to her house because she don't ever got no food. All she want me to do is eat spirulina and shit. Hold on. <laughs> she one of them healthy bitches, but she ain't a wealthy bitch. She ain't the least. She ain't the least. She low key a stealthy bitch. <laughs> she that bitch tall? Is she tall? <laughs> she stealth? She hiding? She, okay. she got the body of a jaguar. <laughs> Call that bitch Jungle Book. Okay, look. <laughs> pick what it back is, up. I'll pick it back up. Okay, we're good. How you out of breath? You just ran with Manny Pacquiao. Bro, because, yo, I did run with. Oh, let's talk about that this morning. I am tired. This is 6 a.m. I've been up since 6 a.m. Look. Okay. I went to run with Manny. Didn't even know he had gas. Had the fucking fanny packed on the whole time. I'm like, damn, G, slow down. I'm a real one. Plus, my feet hurt. He was like, chill, bro. I gotta get and get this work. Go berserk. He started singing like it's a concert. I said, okay, let me go and put a little skirt, skirt on this run. Now I'm having fun. Then he pulled out, not a knife. He had a gun with his biceps. Didn't stretch, had sex. I was like, go and flex. I had to get my phone. Shit, I had to get a text from my ex. She's stressed and she is depressed. I said, girl, I ain't got no time cause I gotta go. Hit yeah. this road. Go ahead. Oh, you about to rap? You about to rap? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. cause we can rap till the beat come out. This is this is I never had an intro Post like this. Some money. All you ballers. Oh yeah. All you lawyers. All y'all out there. Let's start a GoFundMe and free Terrence Crawford. Free, free Terrence Crawford. Free him. Free, free Terrence, Terrence Crawford. Crawford. Hey, free, free Terrence Crawford. Free him. Free All right. Cut, cut it off, Evan. You know what it is? I get sucked in. <laughs> I get sucked in and I try to rap, but then Jamar just <laughs> turned this shit to like Love Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the right eye that's trying to get to your right. I'm like, what? You left? I like how he goes, you're sure. When he wants to rhyme something, he just changes the word. He's like, you know, I got some food and I got some shrimp. <laughs> oh, damn. Can't make it work. Can't make can't it work. Make it work. <laughs> Yo, don't Jamar rap where, like he has a bullhorn? <laughs> He's just talking. He's just talking. He's yelling out his thoughts. And that's why we love him. Welcome back. This is another spanking brand new episode of Cutting Away with Mally B. We, uh, I am accompanied by the hood, Black Panther, Jamar yeah. Neighbors. What that shirt read real quick? Fuck Britney, free Terrence Crawford. Let's clap it up for that man right there. Oh my I'm God. I'm stressed about it. Where, where's Terrence? My so. man, but listen, I, that's what we call a man making a statement. And behind our camera, we got the loyal, thick and thin, you know what I mean? Ride or die, Evan. What's up? Hell yeah, we back in here. Brother, what's going on, man? Shit, man, I can't call it, man, you know? <laughs> uh, just living my life, bro. You know what? <laughs> now, what? Go ahead, bro. <laughs> I'm just living my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just trying to keep up with this boxing. 
<laughs> bro, no, that's a you said fuck Britney in pink like it's cancer. Yeah. Right? And you said in red. Just so you know it's a girl <laughs> that I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone knows. <laughs> and free Terrence Crawford in red, so you know it's a boy who's a boxer. Uh-huh. And then you got the gloves. Mm-hmm. You got the gloves. Hell yeah. The gloves, man. Bro, that's hey, you gotta start selling shirts like that, man. <laughs> you gotta start selling shirts. If you're gonna make a, that kind of statement, make some money off of it. Profit. Where's Terrence Crawford, man? We haven't heard from him. We haven't seen them. We haven't. Now, you brought up the topic, and I gotta, we got to address it. You said, see, Terrence Crawford is a perfect example to being loyal to the wrong person. Yeah, it was some hood wisdom that I was like, man, you can fuck around and be loyal to the wrong motherfuckers, man. Damn. Don't you hate seeing that all the time? Yeah, it's like, it's like I, I mean, I, I've, look, I, I'm a, I mean, I'm a boxing uh I'm a boxing casual, okay? That's my role here, all right? I just spout <laughs> out shit. He probably knows more. But, man, I heard that nigga re-up re his contract, man. Nah. You, to so, what? To fight who? So, okay. He re up Fight who? Claudi? A couple of years ago, he re up. Now, uh, the latest statements are, or the latest uh, news they're saying, he's... Trying him and uh, Bob Arum are like beefing right now. He's trying to get let go. Bob Arum's like, you don't sell tickets, so he's like, let me go so I can make big fights. But he don't want to. He Bob Arum's like, I need to get all my money back, you know. So Terrence Crawford's not trying to buy that contract. He's like, well, shit, all right. Now he's on the shelf. So like I said in in, in the freestyle, we all need to start a GoFundMe and free Terrence Crawford out his contract, man. Yeah, man. That's so we fun. can see that big Errol Spence fight, man. man. Speaking of Errol Spence, bro, I went running. With Manny Pacquiao. You ain't written running with no damn Manny Pacquiao. Man, no, I didn't. But look, uh <laughs> <laughs> Mally be lying. But I let him do it because he my nigga. Like, I was at Panthers. <laughs> I was at I was up at 6 a.m., right? 6 a.m. And I get a Manny's homeboy text me. He's like, bro, Manny's running at seven. Hey, me here on the basketball court, so we can all like trot around. I'm like, all right, bet. So I get there at like 6 45. Now, when Manny says he's getting there at seven. He's getting there at 11, 11 p.m. You already know that, 11 a.m. Yeah. What? Bro, he, listen, just because he says 7, I mean, that's what he felt like, like I'm going to be there at 7. But when you're like, man, nah, I'm going to sleep for a couple of hours. I'm, I got shit to do. His whole team, like his whole team was out there. I was out there. Uh, they had like thousands of Filipinos on the basketball court. They had fans waiting for him. They had uh, Ellie setback. You know, this is Ellie set. He's on it. I'm like, damn. Then they had... Um, uh, fight, uh, fight hype. They had them on there. Thousands of Filipinos on the basketball court. Yeah, bro, they rolled deep. They yeah. like, they like the what? What? Would you have something to say? Would you rub your chin? Oh. I was just laughing. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> I was just <laughs> thinking. The way you said, like, just thousands of Filipinos thousands on, of, the on the basketball court, court. <laughs> bro. Yeah, like it was flooded. I was like, <laughs> and you just see them little, them little tidy people with those big ass calves, just like trying to jump. I'm Can't like, even right. play basketball. I played with them. I played. I ain't gonna lie. I ran a couple of games. They was like, yo, big guy, big guy. They called me. I was a big. They calling you big guy. They called me big guy. <laughs> big guy. Big guy. <laughs> you. Can, I was look. I was looking like Giannis. I did all the athletic shit, but I haven't hooped in a minute. So I was like, I was off. <laughs> and they was like, big guy, get it. But you know, I just got rebounds. <laughs> was you giving them little niggas a boost, nigga, up <laughs> so they could dunk? <laughs> Remember when hey, they used to put that shit know, like right? this? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> like this. Hey, you know, Filipinos, when they they play basketball, they cherry pick that gets on my nerves. And they like have like dope ass fancy passes. Like this one guy did a whole 360 in the air and threw it behind his head. And I was like, oh, shit. And he hit me right here in my gut. For real? Yeah, I missed the layup, though. Did you, uh, did it hurt? Nah, nah, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Yeah, what? okay, cool, man. Because I didn't want them, I thought they were trying to test you. Nah, they wasn't testing me. Come on, man. <laughs> it was <Think> like, fast. <laughs> nah, nigga, my hey. body worked good. <laughs> my hey. Body worked. hey, you know what's so funny? When you're waiting for a fan, and it was like, yo, I saw, they had like a couple of fans, they want Manny to sign all these pictures. And they had to sit there. And now you committed. You committed now. You up before he's up. Like 7 a.m. I'm pretty sure they was there at like 6. And now they're waiting for Manny to sign. Now it's like 9 p.m. 9 a.m. It's like, okay, whew, we're going to keep hope. Because they see like more Filipinos coming, but it's not many. Yeah. They see everyone in it's the It's like, room. where's Waldo? Exa like... Exactly, bro. They had all... <laughs> Did he tweet it out? Like, how does everybody know he's going to be there? Well, because he normally. Uh, That's normally... like his spot. Yes, yeah, his spot. Got it. But now it, it, a, a lot of people caught wind. So uh, seven eight seven a.m. I don't know if it was a mass text, but my guy was like, "Yo, be there." So I was like, "All right, bet I'm there." So nine a.m. I'm like, "Man, I gotta go," and I was like, "No, nah, no, nah, just wait." So 
more Filipinos coming that look like Manny. All of them look alike. Let's just get that out the way. Bro, can I, can I be honest? They all look alike. They short and they have the sweatsuit on. The Manny sweatsuit. So when he gets out the car, everyone runs over. They're like, oh, they ain't Manny. They ain't Manny. Oh, they, they, they ain't Manny. It's like you waiting for your homeboy car <laughs> come to scoop you. They're like, oh, man, that's not him. So uh, it's 1030. I had to get up out of there. It's 1030. The fans are like, man, they yawning. They tired. The guy had his own son. He was like, trust me, he's coming. Just have patience. I was like, bro, you've been there for four and a half hours. And that's how I knew Manny was talking shit about Floyd and never went because, again, he, he shows up late. Shows up late, man. And only did like three miles, I heard. Dang. So you but left you before. Saying, yeah, I left before. Mm. But, but what you're saying is that, oh, man. So, But the kind of work that Manny Pacquiao is putting in, you believe how he looks, um, he may beat Errol Spence. I text Jamar, and I get to this. I text Jamar, I was like, yo. I Why do you say that? Like, was he... In 110 degree weather. No, he wasn't. Training for eight hours. No, he wasn't. How do you know? Like uh, Errol Spence does. How do you know Errol is training for eight hours in 110 weather? I know Errol. (laughs) That's my boy. We talk every day. (laughs) (laughs) I told, I text Jamar, I'm like, yo, Manny Pacquiao is looking great. He's looking young. He had Logan Paul in there yesterday. I went to Wild Card yesterday. I went mm-hmm. to Wild Card. He shut the... I love when he when Manny's in town because you see people you never run across before. You know, I never seen like uh, Liam Neeson was there. Logan Paul. Yeah, bro. And he's supposed to be looking for his daughter. I think I thought they found it. And take it. Th- <laughs> Isn't he supposed to be in Albania? Like, <laughs> I know who you are. Like, <laughs> I, have, I have these a specific set of skills. <laughs> that's what Manny. That's what I'm saying. He got him from Manny. Manny is his sensei. Uh, but but when he's in town, wild card jumping. It's the mecca again. It's popping. So Logan Paul flew all the way from Puerto Rico just to come see uh, Manny Pacquiao train a little bit. A little bit, yeah. He was there for only 30 minutes in the bins. Manny Pacquiao? Like, nah, uh, Logan. Oh, Logan? Yeah. Caleb Plant was there. He was out there. Caleb? Caleb, yeah. Mm. Also, your uh, your guy that you love, uh, Gabriel Rosado, he's training. I love. Didn't you love him? Nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 much respect to anybody who gets in the box <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was like, well, it's been too much long. What is that going to be? like, what is his disclaimer? <laughs> but that is not my boy. Oh, my bad. I thought you liked Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, I fucks with him. I mean, I saw him in Ralph's buying bananas one time. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not plantains, <laughs> bananas. No, nah, it was bananas. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Jamal, Jum- I feel like you see everyone. I saw Too Short buying yogurt one time in, in Ralph's. Yo play? Uh, nah, yeah, yeah, it was your play. Okay, yeah. And I was like, too short. I said, too short. And he tried to ignore me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, just buying yogurt, just buying strawberry yogurt. He ain't had a banana with it. (laughs) (laughs) Just buying too short, buying strawberry yogurt. That's kind of like, oh, you soft. Free free Terrence Crawford, but damn, dog, you can't. (laughs) Did you see the size difference, Errol and, uh, and, um, and uh, Pacquiao. Uh, okay, let's because you want to talk about. It. Yes, I saw it, and I post a picture of Rush Hour Four uh, coming out with Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan because that's exactly what it looked that shit like. Look wrong, man. That was the, that was the most boring press conference I ever like spent my time on. An hour and ten minutes of them just complimenting each other. Oh. Errol like, Spence, he just be sleepy. What do you mean he don't lean? That's what he be looking like. Like he just be looking like unenthused. Like are we breaking? This is breaking news right now. Like he like like Errol like is he up like is he like <laughs> Errol? This is the biggest fight of your life. He's like Manny Pacquiao's a gift fighter. Uh, <laughs> you know I mean, he gonna bring his power to the division. Yeah, you uh, sound just like him. Errol. So, 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 so you said if it's not in the ring, he's bored. Yeah, I okay. mean, like his eyes, it's like definitely his. I think it was all heavy and shit. I was like, <laughs> man, ain't getting any sleep. This is the biggest fight of his life. He has like a baby. Now he has two children. Now uh, he's training in that 110 degree weather. Brother, he tired. Now Manny, on the other hand, he in L.A. Sun, thousand Filipinos late to his fucking workout. Well, uh, yeah. So if he say seven, you know, eleven a.m. That's pro- appropriate. Then he has to train. No, it's eleven. Sound like seven. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is seven. That, is that your... Is That's that my your, Manny back here. Uh, do it again, do it again. I said 11. Manny, is it seven or 11? I said 7-Eleven. Yeah, you, you got, got a lisp all of a sudden. You got to go to... <laughs> Manny, you got to go to 7-Eleven. 
Seven, Evan. Eleven. Seven. <laughs> Can I get some Manila money, Manny? Seven. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, you know how boxers, like, when they uh, when they box, they grunt. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes they grunt. Yeah, but back out on grunt. You know? Oh. Boo, 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 boo. That's what he said. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. So let's play a game real quick. All right. Okay. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Whose grunt is this? <clears throat> God damn. All right. Ah. Ah. Adrian Broner? Yep. Yo! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Give him what? All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> well, he went. Hey, look, I love how you looked at Evan. I got Evan, I, I, give him like a sign. Give him a dollar. Give him a dollar. <laughs> give him that Manila money, nigga. <laughs> that right. Manila money, nigga. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Oh. 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 Sound like you just choking on something, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Yeah, pause. Hold on. Uh, oh. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think I know what I just want you to do it again. I was going to say, you want me to do it again. <laughs> do it again. Yeah, you didn't, didn't hear that again. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what the hell? oh, yo. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Oh. It's a. That's a, that's a mix between Tyson Fury or Javante Tang Day. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. Give, him, oh, give, him, nah, give him, give him, give him, give him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got one more. Okay, yeah. Well, that's, that's two for two, right? Okay. This. 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 Oh, oh, I see. Oh, Shakur Stevens. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, there, is there anybody who's silent? Uh, the closest is Manny. No, Floyd. Floyd don't make. Floyd doesn't make a sound. Nah, he doesn't. Nah, he <laughs> just he it's it, it, that's all you hear. Yeah. That's it. I'm like, yo, you have to breathe. It's weird how Floyd boxes, but yeah, many, many, many. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he been around something. That's that's his childhood right there. That's a division. Just, What's Canelo sound like? Is it, hey, uh, Canelo. Ah, you know, he he yells sometimes when he's about to take you out. You know, he has a, like that wide, compact body. He's ah ah. He's to take you out. Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia screams like a loud eye. Ha! <laughs> so I said, Ryan, Gar- uh, uh. <laughs> Ryan Garcia sound like Ryan Garcia sound like somebody. Oh my god. <laughs> Evan. Like, yo, man, you gotta turn the value now for my mama thinking I'm fucking watching porn. I'm in, I'm, in here, I'm in here beating something right now. <laughs> yo, Ryan Garcia got that high pitch fashion nova <laughs> voice. <laughs> No. Seriously, seriously, he has that fashion voice. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova he voice. Said he got a Fashion Nova voice. Bro, yo, seriously. I think he's like the most feminine, like it's in terms of like breathing. What about uh, Adrian Boner shit? Nah, I, nah, nah. He, he just could <laughs> do it again. <laughs> ha! 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 I'm like, okay. Ha! I'm like, all right. But that's that's you know what it What's is? What's your guys' sound? Jamar doesn't have a sound. Mm-mm. He don't have a sound. I think I think he's so afraid to breathing that he doesn't. Oh God! Okay, that's why I be so tense because I don't want to let nothing vulnerable. He does. Out. <laughs> we don't, I don't know. It's gonna be a surprise for both of us. Like, Evan, you don't have a sound. Aruga. <laughs> Sorry. Aruga. Aruga. <laughs> I slap him with the pass. Yeah. Breathe, Jamar. He lets that sound out. I had to slap him for the streets. I had to like what the. Hell? Terrence Crawford wouldn't want you representing him with that <laughs> Ruga. Like, <laughs> Yo, free tea, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to anybody who getting that ring. I I was chilling with uh <laughs> yo, you stupid. I was chilling with Kiki Palmer this weekend. Oh, for real? Kiki Palmer and that guy uh She out of Trey Song's basement. <laughs> You know, you know that's where she, where he held her captive a little bit. You heard about that, all right? Yeah, I heard about it. A lot of people said she was lying. Hey, she's so real. I believe anything she said because she took us to Tao. I don't even go to Tao, right? She had reservations. She knew the manager, and we was with this guy uh, who played on uh, Get Out. What's his name? David uh, Daniel um, Daniel Kalua. Kalua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, cool dude. There were a couple other. Uh, my, that was a big group. And Tao is big. Have you been to Tao? No. Okay, so Tao is like this red, like red, like, like think of the red dragon on Rush Hour 2. That's how big. Is it a restaurant or what? It's a restaurant mm-hmm. in, uh, on, in Hollywood. 
So I get in there and they're already at their table. And this woman's like, yo, who who name is it? I was like, I don't know. I got a call. Kiki answered the phone. She was like, tell him it's Kiki Palmer. So she walks I me. Mean, you got to be escorted to the table. Like literally. And it's so big, bro. Like literally it's so big. And I get to the table and I was like, you know how like stuff is already expensive before you sit down? Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not about to be here for a long time. Mm. Okay. Cause yeah, I'm not about to pay for all this. She, she ordered all that. You're traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> from being to... left for the bill. Uh, yeah. Being left for the bill. <laughs> but I can, I can fight though. Like, you know what I mean? If you got an issue of me leaving early, say something. <laughs> so, I couldn't... <laughs> what you about to say? You couldn't do what? I was like, I couldn't beat her with Kiki Palmer. Like, uh. Just at a table and shit, cause I'm like, I'd be like two stars struck and aware of like everybody work well, and shit. Well, <laughs> so I'd be looking at her, I'd be like, "Can you really spell that good?" <laughs> Kila and a B. You I'm like, <laughs> spell Mesopotamia. <laughs> she was like, "Jamar, it's just a roll." <laughs> you lying? <laughs> spell Grizzly, cause people think it's one Z, but it's actually two. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. That's the only hint. I'm gonna say. Was your mama really good? Remember when you beat that Indian nigga? <laughs> like, in spelling. Did you think you could really do that? <laughs> Did you really have to learn the words? You said grizzly. Some people say they have, like, what's he? <laughs> Some people think it's one Z, but it's two. <laughs> so, I'm using this sentence just once, but you better know it after that. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, what happened? Nah, bro. It was basically that. And yo, uh, she do got an arm on her. She do got an arm on her. That lone shot, slot, uh, what is it? Lone shot uh, movie with Ice Cube. She, oh, did, yeah, she yeah. played the quarterback. This, she threw like uh, utensils across the table. Bullet. Aaron Rodgers, stay for him, or Why would she do that? Y'all was having a food fight? Nah, it wasn't a food fight. She oh. was just like, here, you ain't got it? And she threw it at uh, one of these London guys. And I was like, oh, that shit came out like a bullet. But when she ordered a lot of apps and the uh, guy, Daniel, he ordered like the main stuff. And I was like, man, this all the food just kept constantly coming. You should have took a picture of that nigga, see what he did. Bro, you know what's so funny? They <laughs> fake. <laughs> I just got what he said. <laughs> His eyes start watering. <laughs> Get out. Get damn. out. <laughs> Get out. Oh, nigga, damn. I don't got to pay. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I did. Yo, <laughs> uh, nah, I'm traumatized. But uh, uh, we were talking about boxing. He's uh, He was like, yo, I'm... Do you think Anthony Joshua got it, bro? I was like, no. Do you think no. he uh, he got it? Yeah, he got it. I was like, no, he do not He got what? Like, he's the next heavyweight champion. Like, does he got that? <clears throat> What'd you tell him? I told him hell. I told him hell no. Like, I mean, he's technical, but I mean, like the thing about these London guys, they're very supportive, and also they mad because England lost, so uh, he didn't really want to talk too much. Mm-hmm. You know, they big over there with that football. But the next thing they have after that is boxing. Mm-hmm. And Anthony Joshua is like one of the homies and he care about him. I was like, oh, no. he knows him? Yeah, apparently. I was like, nah, he don't got it. Anyway. I mean, if anybody has it, it's Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. If, if you're going for one of them London boys. Tyson Fury. But Tyson Fury, and and let's just talk about it. Tyson Fury pulled out his match on July 24th uh, with uh, Deontay Wilder because he caught COVID. Now, you're under the assumption that he got knocked out. That's what the rumor is. That's, that's what I read. He got knocked out by uh, up-and-coming heavyweight uh, prospect Jared Anderson. Big baby. Yeah. 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 And I heard he was. He kept giving him that work, and he got knocked out by him. That's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boxing casual. What do I know? Yeah, well, you're not too far off because <laughs> he was getting that work. And and this is how I know he don't want Deontay Wilder right now in rare form because – let me, let, me, let me tell you why. Okay. When someone really wants you bad, like, man, I can't wait till I run and see you, right? I'm going to beat your ass. Pause, right? The, they had the scheduled fight on the 24th. Now, let me just take y'all into, like, a boxing state of mind, right? So when you, you have 10 weeks of training. Now, some people, like, they move away from home because they want to dedicate their time, their, their, their structure, their mind, their mind, mentally, everything on that person. So that's what Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder stayed, I guess, in Alabama, but Tyson Fury uh, trained in Vegas. When you go 10 weeks, excruciating hard. You got to wake up early. I woke up at 6 a.m. like I was training. You wake up early. You don't eat. You're away from your family. You're in a new place. You really just focus. That's a lot. Week after week after week for 10 weeks, you're missing your family. And he's like, okay, I'm going to beat this dude ass, right? It's three weeks away from the fight, and then it just drops out, and you're seven weeks in. That can mess with you mentally. And we all know Deontay Wilder is not mentally strong. 
because mm-hmm. all the excuses he's coming up. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. he's like, man, Tyson Fury's playing these games. Now he's if he wasn't in his head, he's in his head now. Mm-hmm. Cause he was like, man, this is that bullshit. Cause he already thinks Tyson Fury is running mm-hmm. with him and uh, the Anthony Joshua uh, fight. They like agreed upon this until Deontay Wilder stepped in. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think like, oh, oh, Deontay Wilder. We we haven't heard a word from him yet. But he was like, man, that's that bullshit. Mm-hmm. Now they said he caught COVID, <clears throat> right? And I know in these top rank gyms, you can't. They have the testing. They have all that. You can't get in that gym without you know you have like a the vaccination card. Or you got, like, when the last time you got tested? Mm-hmm. So the fact that he caught it, man, doesn't seem reasonable. But does seem reasonable is him getting knocked out in sparring. So that's and, what... And and what I noticed about Tyson Perry, um is that, like, recent pictures, he's had, like, he's had, like, ma- ma- mice or a mouse, a mouse under his yeah, eye, like yeah. a, like a, a busted lip or some shit like mm-hmm. that. I'm like, like, man, somebody's giving him that work. It, it's similar to how Floyd showed up to the Robert Gart when Arrow was whooping his ass yeah. or somebody or whatever. It kind of looked like that ish. Like, yeah, with that, he had to put the glasses on. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. With the mouse underneath the eye. Have you ever had a mouse? Mm mm. Never? Mm mm. You ever yeah. had a mouse, Evan? Uh, my you? daughter stalked me a couple times. I didn't, you know, I didn't see her coming, but not an actual fight. You had a mouse? Nah, I never had a mouse. Mm. Nah. <clears throat> I had I had this shit cut right here. Yeah, I got a cut. That was yeah. I, I, my only cut and the only time in the fight was uh, with this guy. Uh, you're 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 Matt, and he I went I threw an overhand left, and he threw like some. I think he threw like a, a hook, and we collided and cut my shit. And here's the thing: I didn't even have a corner, mm. man, a cut man. Like I was like, man, I I, I ain't you never wipe got that hit. shit off on your t shirt. I mean, I had to. <laughs> I, it was no t shirt. I had, we used to fight wearing our shirt off. Uh, I had my homeboys in my corner. I was like, I don't get cut anyway. The only time I got cut, and it was we all looked at each other. He was like, Bro, put some ice on it. I said, What? <laughs> Nigga, that's <laughs> yeah, said, home, homie, I, homie remedies. I said, <laughs> Not home remedy, homie remedies. <laughs> yeah, yo, homie remedy. Put some rubitussin on that shit. Some rubitussin. <laughs> <laughs> what is a cut, bro? They ain't know what to do. I'm like, nah, bro. Just get they, no one said a napkin, a towel. They was like, put some ice on it. Nigga, I, I remember how I got mine, bro. I was uh You say you never had oh you said a cut. I yeah. had that cut right here. It was yeah. serious. Nigga, I was uh I was opening up my cabinet. This is real shit. It was my cabinet door. And I always uh I always try to practice like head work or whatever. So I always like close it and I always try to like duck up under it. <laughs> nigga, I swear to God, nigga, and I tried to, I tried to, I was like, oh, I think I can get it faster than that. So I like closed my cabinet door or whatever, and I and I ducked just a little too slow, and that shit said pa, and I and then bust my shit, and I was just like, I still want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you treated your cabinet like a double end bag. <laughs> I still want more. <laughs> I was like Conor McGregor, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> with that foot. <laughs> hey, that nigga foot look like a look like a, a retard hand. Like that shit was crazy. <laughs> like, that shit looked like it was like a chicken bone. <laughs> yeah, yo, you said a chicken and he, cutlet. And he steps on it too. Yeah. When it went and he stepped, it was like it was like a pirate. You know, like with a wooden leg. It was just yeah. like bang. Oh, it was you, brutal. You, you called him Hook. <laughs> that shit oh. like one of them little sticky finger. I mean, like one of them little uh, one of them little sticky Slings. hands and oh, shit. Yeah, you, know, you could peel it off and shit like that. Oh. Like that shit looked retarded. I watched that fight, man. I was like. Damn, yo, that's that's why I don't like kicking in fights. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro, dude, let's let's come on, bro. Let's do the gladiator shit. Mano, <laughs> mano, hands. And then when I saw him like bend his foot back, and I was like, oh, so what's up with the fight? <laughs> like, is it over? I don't know. Cause in boxing, you break your arm, like you still got to be out there. Like, hold on, I still got it. I still got it. Let me just get like one punch in. But, but MMA, I mean, he broke his shit. That so. shit crazy, man. What? He should just stop. Yeah, you saw uh, Floyd trolling him. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Nigga won eighty five racks on that. Well, no, yeah. did you see? So he won thirty five. Oh. He put down fifty, won thirty five to make it eighty five. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then Connor made fun of him being like thirty five grand. Like <laughs> that's all you want on me? Yeah. yeah. So he like roasted his ass, being like, "You're poor." I always knew you were poor. Like <laughs> oh, basically oh, being like, "Yeah, you act like you're rich, and all you bet was fifty grand." Like, oh, well, I, well, does that beg the question? The question that uh, is Floyd really confident in his bets? Cause he lose a lot, like he's at the Palms. I remember I saw him watch. I lose like what fifty uh, k one night, and at the Palms, like on on the tables. I was like, damn, somebody need to tap him on the shoulder and tell him. And he kept saying, man, give me my bag. And I was like, no, I don't think you should get your bag. But didn't he just get a hundred million yeah. for this Logan Paul fight? Yeah, and I'm like, he's fine. 
<laughs> he's all right. He's, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> After taxes, sixty. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you think Floyd will ever be broke? That's a great question. Do you think dude Floyd, spends a lot though? Yeah, I will so, say yeah, so it is. But he can insane. he can always come back and get another hundred million. That is, oh, that Lord, is true. So but, do you I mean, think he ever keep on coming back until? Somebody going to shut his shit off. But who's going to shut it off? I mean, I don't know. Jake Paul. Oh, you think Jake Paul can uh, hurt Floyd? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for I'm, sure, for I'm sure. with you. I'm with you. But even way, he's not going to be broke. Hey, how much does Floyd pay his sparring partners? Uh, we was getting paid uh, like four, four grand a week. Okay. Okay. Cool. Why? Oh, I was just asking. I just Four grand a week? Yeah, that's well, pretty good. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's it was more like than it was. Thought. It was like yo, if you get uh, Floyd choose you to become his sparring partner, bro, that's rent, a new car. It's like the lottery, mm-hmm. you know. And you like you can pay, and, but again, you spar every day, and it's no, it's no three minutes. It's like when he say stop. So I was like, okay, you got to really work for you that. You got to work racks. for that four racks. Hell yeah! Does he want? Mm-hmm. Is it one of those things where he wants you to go at it? Like if you let's say you yeah. let's say you hit him right, mm-hmm. is it one of those like? Now you're done, or no. does he want you to try to take his head off? Floyd, take your head off. So you no, I mean, does do... he want you to try? Yeah, no, okay. really, seriously, like because he's going to take your head off. Like uh, Floyd got most of he has more knockouts in sparring than he does. Uh, really? He does, yeah, in the, in the actual fight. Yeah. Have you ever seen like put somebody out? Like, damn. Yeah, one of my homeboys. Yeah, my friend. I'm still cool with him. I'm like, damn. He was like, it's all right though. It's all right though. If you're an upcoming fighter, upcoming you, fighter, and, he and, slept him. But if you want to have a future, isn't it kind of dangerous sometimes to be a sparring partner? Because no. like, you know what I mean? Like, and they you get knocked out regularly or getting hit or like whatever. Like, isn't that bad for your? Nah, because if you're an upcoming prospect, <clears throat> you need that championship work. This yeah. guy been in the ring with like he's championship material. He's gonna show you something that you think you know that you but you don't. So that's the all. But again, you can't get hurt. So I seen. But if you're good enough, they won't hurt you. But Floyd didn't give a fuck. Floyd didn't give a fuck. He sparred any bigger guys as well. Bigger guys. Up and coming prospects, champions. He he sparred Zab Zab Judah for that Pacquiao fight. He sparred everyone he could, and and he, I seen him get more knockouts in sparring as he he does in his actual record. Really, you ever yeah. seen him get some first round shit? What you mean, like first round knockout? Nah, in sparring? nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Uh-huh. You you call them cookie hands? Nah, bro, you already, <laughs> cookie. <laughs> you already know. I call them the, call them cookie hands. Them brittle ass hands. You're not about to get. <laughs> Nobody get any kind of knockout, but, but it's uh, the attrition, it's the, it's the accumulation of it all that make that that will fuck you up though, huh? Yeah, cause he Floyd don't stop. Like I'm tired of shit right now. Yeah, I'm tired, and I just got up at six a.m. Floyd don't stop. Floyd to be you think you and this is the thing like you got to really work for that four K. Say it's like two thirty in the morning, you just train right mm-hmm. all day. Floyd was like, oh shit, I got to work on something. Call you at three o'clock. Hey, be at the gym at three thirty or four a.m. You there at 4 a.m. Floyd don't get there till like 5 36, the Manny Pacquiao. Like, let's go to work. And you're like, damn, I ain't even sleep. So that's that's the whole you work for that. You ever been in that ring sleepy? Hell no, nah, because you know punches come at you. You <laughs> that'll wake you yeah, up. Yeah, wake huh? you the fuck up. Are you okay? If you really want to be sleepy, you'll get slept <laughs> with the quickness. So you gotta be on yeah. alert. Yeah, nah. You had to work for that 4K, but it was it was good. Uh what you was two months? You made uh what? Hey, do you like that girl, Sinisa Estrada? Who's that? The that, little that, that, Hispanic that, 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 chick. Hey, who she, just fought? She with Golden Boy. She just fought on um, yeah. that Zumando um, Ramirez uh, card. Yeah. She all right. I saw her. She, why, why do you... You love she, women fighting. She nice. She nice, bro. You just saying that because she look good. She bad, too, but like... <laughs> she, <laughs> could you date a boxer? Oh, that's a great question. You, ooh, who, so, who who could who could fuck you up? Oh, wait, hold on, no, no, not even necessarily. <laughs> no fuck him woman up. in this world can fuck me up, <laughs> and he truly believed that. <laughs> yo, anyway, <laughs> he was offended by me asking that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. I'm a man. Free I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> Free Terrence Crawford, Ronda and, Rousey. I will fuck her up. No, no, no. no I don't. But I don't hit women though. But I don't hit women. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta you just gotta fake grab them or <laughs> <laughs> if I hit women <laughs> hey nigga I don't like I don't like Zerto Zerto uh, Ramirez, Ramirez. I like him to me. I like him bro nobody beating that Southpaw yeah, Mexican yeah he is I mean yeah somebody is Ooh. I mean he's 175 yep who beating him I don't know fucking him over there <laughs> he's just pointing that out he's not that good bro that guy you know why why 
Because every time you hit him, he don't like pressure. Every time you hit him, he always he always go backwards and let you get off your punches. I'm like, nigga, you can't do that to Arthur he Beaterbury. He doesn't know defense. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can't do that to Arthur Beaterbury or, uh, or, 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 or Bavall. Or, or, Arthur would definitely touch him. Yeah. Or Bavall. Bavall is nice. I think he's heavily slept on, bro. You think so? Hell yeah. He only has all like, what, 16 fights? He don't have that many fights. It don't matter. Okay. That nigga's nice. <clears throat> I think. I think. Like, I don't. I don't believe the Zerto hype or whatever. He, I mean, he did what he did to Sullivan Barrera because he was supposed four to. Four rounds, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four rounds got him out of there. Yeah. Okay. But every time Sullivan hit him, he would back up and let him get his shit off or whatever. And I'm because like, he doesn't know defense. Zerto don't know defense. Nah. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like, yeah, you get a motherfucker who's on the constant like pressure yeah. attack. Okay, I get you. But okay, and you know the same feeling that you feel about Ramirez. I feel the same way about Jojo Diaz. Okay. I don't like him. I'm not much respect to anybody <laughs> who get in that ring and put their life on the line. Because yeah. I could you won't never. Do that. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, he like whatever, too. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel that That's way about Jojo, too. Okay, I'm like, I'm exactly. Like, I'm like, he like, I wasn't hyping him up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to say, because <laughs> people out there are at 135, they're like, he has a bell. He could beat Devin Haney. Like, yeah, I was they, watching, I was watching him, and and I was just like, I was like, he all average. right. He but, but he did with somebody. I mean, people wasn't trying to fight Fortuna. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and Fortuna didn't look himself. He looked slower. He looked less aggressive. Because he old. A nigga 32. That's not old. Nigga, that's old. Is it? That's old in boxing years. That's like dog years. <laughs> <laughs> he said 32 in boxing. He been boxing since he was seven. <laughs> he not about to age. He stopped, bro. I'm surprised he made it this far. <laughs> 32, a journeyman too? He's not a journeyman, bro. He was yeah. a champion. Yeah, but now he's Glenn Johnson. <laughs> People that know that Glenn Johnson was Yo, a great I mean, he gave, he gave Robert Easter that work. Yeah, Robert Easy, he need to make another comment. Where is he at, man? Because that dude could fight his ass off. Yeah, he tall. Where is he? He, man, he done? I don't know. We gotta get him. Or on is the he podcast. hanging out with Robert uh, with Adrian? Adrian Brown. Brown. I was just about to say that. Um, you can be loyal to the wrong motherfuckers. Man, sometimes, keep man. saying that, bro. Damn. And I love AB. You know, uh, much respect. Ah! You know, bro. I just want in relationships as well. You can be loyal to the wrong motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. Damn, for sure. bro. I can I can attest to this. Um, well, you feel it? You feel in some kind of way? We're loyal to Who the, did it, Malik? Man, goddamn, bro. <laughs> in middle school, I'll never forget it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where it always starts, bro. Your first love? Bro. Because, you listen, a reason why the middle school love hurts the most, because we had uniforms. We all dressed the <laughs> <laughs> We all dressed the same. So she liked me for me, not fashion. <laughs> <laughs> not nothing. She liked me because she was like, oh, I like Malik. <laughs> I not was like, for my clothes. Not for my clothes. Not for my, I mean, shoes a little bit, but like how she loved me as a person. <laughs> we all had uniforms. So that's why middle school, middle school love is here. Bro, that work. is hilarious. Bro. And I was like, all right, you know, I was loyal to her. All my friends kept saying she was a hoe. I was like, no. Nah. Middle school? Bro, a hoe, bro. Kissing other dudes behind my back. Mm, bro, crazy. while wearing my hoodie. Now, I ain't have a lot. <laughs> you remember South Pole was back big back then? South Pole? Bro, I had the freshest South Pole hoodie and then she had her, she, I gave it to her. Gave it, I was loyal. Mm. It was like, bro, I told my friends, they was like, bro, why you give it to her whole ass? I was like, bro, don't, <laughs> don't, don't talk about her. Don't talk about Alicia. <laughs> Do not talk about Alicia like that. <laughs> Yo, Alicia, Yo. I never yet, I was so, so she, her mother used to carpool, uh -huh. right? And they used to uh, come uh, pick her up. I rode the bus home, mm -hmm. but on this particular day, she thought I was riding the bus home. I was like, nah, I'm going to walk home because where the middle school was, it was like, right, like, I could walk home. But I was like, yeah, I didn't believe it. And you know, like, you didn't, you feeling in your gut? Well, you know, you didn't, you young. I ain't, I ain't think about it. But I was like, let me just see what's going on. Bro, saw her kissing another dude in my hoodie. What? Bro, right there, right there where you pick, yeah, just him and her. Damn, was it raining? I wish I had. You said what? what was it mean? raining? No, it's not an Usher video. Uh, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> was it raining? <laughs> it's not a Spike Lee film. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really trying to feel sad for you. Yeah. I'm like, tell me it was raining too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just because was Donnell started. Jones out there singing that he wants your chick back too? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me get this straight. Because the sun is outside, you don't care. You it ain't really that bad. I'm like, well, you can still go swimming. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's other chicks at the pool, man. <laughs> Yo, 
All right. Well, hey, brother. Nah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, bro. My heart hurt. Dang, man. I remember when I was like 10. <laughs> you did brought it down. You know, this is elementary or still middle? I mean, it was, I mean, I had weird schooling because I was a bad kid. So they mixed all the bad kids. <laughs> there was no grade. It was just like, y'all bads. <laughs> oh, and it, just, it was. They put a book in front of you. They just put a book in front of you. No grade, just don't leave. <laughs> it was all bad kids. <laughs> some of us was 10, some of us was 18, man. Okay. And I, no, no, but it was like, I had this one chick. Her name was Christina Sanchez. First girlfriend ever, bro. But she kept on going back between me and my friend Maurice, you know? And uh, because we was both good at football or whatever, it, it really who she wanted to be with really just uh, really depended on who had the who who had the litter game. Ooh, like yeah. So you was playing. It was more than touchdowns for you. I was playing. I was playing for my heart. <laughs> <laughs> playing for love. The touchdown was a hand job. <laughs> that t- that tub was a hand job. That's what you said. <laughs> You're like seven points. Fuck that. <laughs> HJ, I'm trying, to get a, I'm trying to get a neuro massage. <laughs> She's being smart though. She's like, I'm trying to flip up my cards, but who's going pro? Yo, that right? is true. I like that. that. That's what you call a woman with a plan. Well, you know, kudos to her brain. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be great. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it didn't end well. It didn't end well. <laughs> I got MVP for show and oh, shit, man. Up. You know, but, but she still chose though, boy. Uh. Like, like we start, we like we dated and shit, like a little bit afterwards or whatever. But then he started doing some other stuff that he was good at, and then she went over to him, and then I started doing stuff I was good at. Like I, I, I got into a play, and we're, we're, oh, this is racist now that I think about it. What these teachers made us play monkeys, and we had to. Do, <laughs> Which was in the Wizard of Oz? No, nah, it wasn't the Wizard of Oz. It was called Three Monkeys. <laughs> Real shit. Wait a minute. Wait, now that I think about it. Hold on, Wait, can hold we talk on, about this? Hold on to this interview. I, I gotta. <laughs> this is better. This is this man. This man is out here trying to. Wait vent a minute. <laughs> this man. This has been on this man. Childhood hard. trauma is like coming to the center right now, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. bubbling up. Yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Three monkeys. Who wrote it? Your teacher? <laughs> yeah. He yeah. wrote it for him. That's so fucked. Yeah, Miss Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Yo, Miss Washington. And I was it. the only one that could do backflips. <laughs> and then so she made me the star. The what? star monkey. Yeah. The star three monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> we got an acro- We got an acrobatic monkey over here. <laughs> Come here, Jamal. Come here, Jamal. Do that thing I t- <laughs> You're the front one. Nigga, I was glad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Washington. <laughs> bro, I swear, I was doing these on God in Heaven, bro. I was doing these backflips, right? And um, Christina, Christina Sanchez is right there looking at me and shit, right? <laughs> She's looking at me and shit. I did like five of them. I was supposed to do three. I did like, <laughs> I did like five of them, right? This man going off script. <laughs> on the fourth one, on the fourth one, I was low-key dizzy. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> okay. she, like, I hit that fifth one, bro. I, I landed on my knees and stuff like that, but I tried to play it off. And I tried to get up and I tried to look at it like that. <laughs> what did bro, she do? What did huh? she, and then what? she was at like... <laughs> she like rolled her eyes. I said, "You about to go fuck Maurice, ain't you?" Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stick it. Because I didn't stick it. He get the dick it. <laughs> he get the dick it. God damn it! Because I didn't stick it. Yo, dog. Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> he said, "If I, because I didn't land that, I was on my knees, and she about to show me how it's done with, with Maurice." Oh my God. God. <laughs> Yeah, man. Bro, that's three monkeys. All right. Uh, anyway, we're, we're Dennis. All right, we ready for the interview, Ev? Is he on? All right, y'all. Listen, we about to get straight into this interview with Dennis, mama's boy, Douglin. Man, you're going to love him. He's a, a friend of the podcast. He's a friend of mine. And uh, he's training out there with Vegas in uh, Las Vegas at uh, Floyd Mayweather's, Mayweather's Boxing Gym. And he has his own gym. Great friend of mine. So please, let's welcome Dennis. Dennis, mama's boy, Douglin, bro, born in New York. You know what I mean? Hey, bro, yes, bro, sir. Bro, bro, I mean, you really fought everyone. You fought Andre Anthony Durrell. You fought Benavide, David Benavides. You fought Jamel Charlo, who fights uh, this weekend. You yeah. fought uh, Aaron Williams. Ammo. Ammo. Ammo Williams. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ammo, yeah. Ammo Williams. Ammo. Uh, um, Devin Alexander. Um, there's a couple of guys who that. 
don't get the crowd, the clout they should get because I beat them, so they don't talk about it. But Stephen Martinez is another fighter that was undefeated when I fought him. Mm. Um, hey, hold on. I mean, whoever, George Groves, I went to the UK to fight him. Oh, what? yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. George Groves, yeah. yeah mine, this is all, the, the most training I've had for a fight, like a fight of this caliber, was four weeks. Actually, I'm lying. For Anthony Durrell, I got six weeks, which is the longest camp I ever had for a top fight. And I beat him. But then they robbed me. You know, like, so I've always had that kind of career. But it's been lit, bro. Life's good, man. God got me. I'm chilling, you feel me? Yeah. Well, t- t- talk about... What? Why did you let your mama train you and like it'll be a like I'm gonna be my my son's trainer and you went along with that? Talk about that experience because you're the only fighter whose moms like train them in the ring, hit the pads, you know, do the road work, all that. So talk Yo, about it that. really started like just being a kid from Brooklyn. She wanted me to learn how to defend myself. Um, a kid, um, a guy that she knew opened up a gym. She was like, "Hey, let's go box." So she knew nothing about box. She wasn't a boxer. Never. She was like, "Let's go box." I was eight years old. I was like, all right. So we made like a Saturday thing. I was going every Saturday with her. I had a trainer. Um, I was like the kid that was lazy in the gym. I didn't really care. It was, just, it was fun to me. Even. Then another kid started coming. Joined up. Like I was three months in. He joined up. Started doing it. But he was coming every day. So after like two months, they made a spar. So I'm five months in. He's two months in. We spar. We eight years old. This little boy beat the mess out of me. So like, I'm like, oh, nah, ma, we got to come every day. Like, nah, I want to get that back. So she's like, I bet. She bring me every day. I started training to get more serious. I, I did well with him. I beat him up. Then they're like, oh, let's fight. So I fought. I did well. So I started getting really good. But I still didn't really love this sport. You feel me? She still wasn't my trainer. I still had a trainer, all that. And then I was one day we was watching boxing. We was watching Rory Jones, which is versus David Telesco. I'll never forget because David Telesco was training on my gym. So I saw him train for the fight the whole time. And I didn't know who Rory Jones was because I didn't really watch boxing like that. So I'm like, this David about to trash whoever this Roy Jones is. Y'all bugging like, this Roy Jones kid can't be that good. I watch David train. So the fight comes on. Um, First, Roy Jones is taking mad long to come out because he's waiting for Red Man and Meth Man to come out. So he's taking mad long. So I'm like, who is this diva? Like, you know, I hate this dude already. Then Red Man, Mad Man, Red, Red Man and Meth Man finally get there. They walk him out to the rock while like, they dancing. He got a tux on. I'm like, yo, this dude is lit. He's still going to get trashed, but I like him. Then he gets in the ring and he's just super flashy. He trashes him. And then I saw, I'm like, yo, ma, I want to do this. Like, this is fire. When I told her that, she was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, she's like, okay, but And I just didn't pay attention to that. But like, since that day, she just was in the gym on me, like, do this, do this, run. Like, my trainer be talking to me. And if I'm slacking, she'll start barking at me behind the gym. Like, you better listen, little nigga. Like, talk to me like that. I go home, she makes sure I'm running. We start training at nighttime. She's like asking trainers stuff. And then coming home at night and doing it with me, like holding the pads. She don't even know what she's doing. I'm 12, 13 years old, but she's like learning the pads. Wow. You know what I mean? So we did that for like two years. I had a trainer. I was working with my uncle. She was still working with me at home. But then at home, the workout started getting better and better because she's learning more. So at home now, I'm training as hard as I'm training. I'm doing two tough workouts a day now. But I'm seeing a difference because like I'm better than everybody that's around me now. I'm winning states, junior, um, the regionals, nationals. I'm like, oh, slick. We moved to Jersey. I need a new trainer. I'm my bad. I'm talking at Ezo, but just trying to get you out of there. Real quick. Do your thing, yeah. Right, so we moved to Jersey, and I'm looking for a new trainer. And I'm like, well, you just keep training me while we look for training. She's like, I bet. So she keeps training me. I start sparring with her in my corner. People start to laugh at me at first. They're like, oh, I'll go to a new gym. People are like, who this thing with his mom? And they're laughing at me, whatever. But then I'll get in the ring and I'll trash you. Women like, oh, this kid is good. So people started calling me mama's boy as a joke. Like, oh, they go that mama's boy kid. So, like, making fun of me or whatever. So, one year I went to the States, the Junior Olympic States. I was going to the regionals. So, I just tried to own the joke by putting it on my shirts. I put Mama's Boy on my shirts. Like, yeah, make fun of me now. Like, I am Mama's Boy. So, I went to the fight. Everybody was laughing. But I was in a tough fight. And during the fight, the crowd started chanting Mama's Boy. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I'm a 12 year old <laughs> kid. The whole crowd screaming out. They don't know me. I'm on New York. Everybody screaming Mama's Boy. I win the fight. I get reporters coming up to me, talk to me like, how do you feel with your mom? And like, this is, it's like this crazy, it's like, took a mind of his own. Like, people really believe the mama's boy thing. So I'm like, this is lit. And it's real because you're really training me. So we went back home. I was like, yo, listen, I don't want to find a trainer. You just be my trainer. She was like, all right, we'll do it temporarily. But when you get better, we'll get some second like, back. But then as I got better, she kept getting better. So we just stayed together, bro. So she's always been hard, me hard. And we, we've accomplished, I'm not a champion yet, but I will be. We accomplished a lot, bro. I was number one in the, number three in the nation, number one in New Jersey, 
won all the national tournaments as an amateur. And now I'm on the head in the pros. You feel me? I got my head together, but I'm so I'm coming. Hey, what whatever happened to um because uh your last fight was against uh ammo, right? Yeah. And um hey, okay, is is he good? Like where is he is he I heard he going through some shit up here. Like yeah, is he, he good? He, he, he gonna do a lot of messy, which I mean like this box is put it. It's, it's rough, bro. This is it's, it's it's hard. So I would never make fun of or or, or laugh or judge anybody for that. Like, no. I'm like but he's going through a lot of mentally. So shout out to him. I reached out to him on Instagram, but he might have thought I was trying to clown. So yeah. he left me. Really like, but I get it, bro, because I people don't know this, but I battled depression really like crazy, bro. I, I tried to commit suicide, all that, bro. At one Wait, point. Wait, so, when was this? This was like three years ago. Oh. Yeah. I was alcoholic, bro. Like that's the only reason that I attribute to pretty much all my losses. Like I was drinking, partying, then they would call me to fight. I love boxing. Like for example, the Charlo fight, I took it in two weeks' notice. The Benavides fight, two weeks' notice. Anthony Durrell took six weeks. George Girls, four weeks. Um, Ammo Williams, a week and a half. You know, like I just be wanting to fight, so I just be taking fights. But that's probably dumb. Man, that liquor, man, that liquor make you say yes. You like, well, shit, yeah, let's fight. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even the liquor that was making me say yes, bro. What? It was my love for boxing. Like boxing was probably one of the only things that kept me alive. And before I had my daughter, I, I love boxing. Yeah. So like the competitor in me always said it wasn't even liquor. Bro. Like I'd be drunk and they call me, and I just want to fight. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll take the fight because I'm scared. You feel like I, be, I grew up rough, bro. Like I. I, I shouldn't be here. You feel me? Like, so like, this is funny to me. You feel me? So that was my mentality for a while. But when you're drinking, you can't win. Like, I don't care how good you are skill wise. If you're, if you're drinking and partying and somebody's training asshole for eight weeks, you only get, you only training for two weeks, you're going to lose. I don't care how good you are. You feel me? Yeah. So like, that's what I was dealing with for a while. When's your next Democrat, fight? August 28th. Oh, who are you fighting? We don't have an opponent yet. We're going to get, I should have an opponent by Friday. It's my first promotion. I'm oh. doing it myself. Oh, oh, you fight at 160, yeah? Yeah, 160. Oh, okay. So, so my goal, my, my plan is to fight. I'm throwing my own cards. And then for the next three fights, I'm throwing my own shows. And then hopefully I get my record to the point where one of these fighters, because these fighters duck me because of my record. They use that yeah. as an excuse. Like, get a big sense for them. But they already know what it is. I, I smack most of them in the gym. You feel me? So, yeah. like, they know what it is. But because my record works against me, I now have to fix my record before I can fight the fights that I deserve. You feel me? So, you said you have a fight on uh, August 28th. This, is this your officially your first training camp, like a real training yes. camp and, you know, no drinking and you're focusing on the fight, correct? Are they, oh, look at this mama. Hey, we had an ongoing joke. We was like, I guarantee his mom going to be behind the <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I bet she was like, boy, you better tell him who you are. I was like, oh, nah. <laughs> calm down. Don't be running up my phone money. bill. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> nah, what's up, Mom? That, that's the lady right there. What's up? Hi, how are you? Uh, how you we, doing, we, we, uh, we just uh, listen. We appreciate you. We appreciate your son, man. We had to reach out because and you brought your son very far. Yeah, thank you. You know, hell yeah. Like a lot of women, I don't. I, you rarely see. No, you never see. Like, of course, you have Kathy. Uh, Kathy Dugan. Like, you know, she you was in there. Like, you have Ann Wolf. There's a couple of women. Ann Wolf, Wolf yeah. And it's coming more popular now. She um, got James Kirk and slap, though. Oh, she did. A couple women that's in it. But she was a pioneer, bro, and she's the GOAT, which is why that's another reason why we don't win the title. Because, unfortunately, the world is so stupid. I mean, people, a lot of of dumb people. And dumb people feel like, I'm not a champion because of her. And I'm like, no, idiot. I'm not a champion because of me. You remember, like, I was alcoholic. I was doing all I was doing dumb stuff. She can't, it don't matter who is in my corner, yo. If I'm an alcoholic, it may well the senior shame me. I'm going to get beat. Is your, is your dad around? Yes, yeah. sir. Pops! Uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, he don't get any love. I'm like, God oh, damn. Shit. I, thought you did. Hey, I, th- I thought he just... I thought you just didn't have a father growing yeah. up and, and the mama yeah, had to step in. thinks that, bro. When my dad, like, the single real mom's around, bro. Pops be around, bro. So when the whole crowd was chanting, mama's boy, he was like, well, shit, he my son. When he, he, when he your, daddy was, boy, he you, your daddy was off with a cigarette. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what up, man? <laughs> All right. Right. Oh, what up, <laughs> Pops? <laughs> And he a yellow one, so I got a little yellow in me. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Did he ever step in and be like, did he ever step in and be like, let me hold the damn pass? Yeah, yeah. Which, which which makes him, in my opinion, a real man because like he knew that was her lane. So yeah. he chill. You feel me? Like yeah. he don't ever try to be. He don't know. I put him in the limelight. He don't even want to be in the limelight. Like, with my outfits, you watch my box outfits, I always wear blue, yellow, and gold. And I wear the Bayesian flag because my pops is from Barbados. So that's oh. my salute to him. 
But like, if it wasn't for that, it, niggas wouldn't even know I had a dad. Meanwhile, my dad, the realest man in my life. You feel me? That's uh, what's up. I'm glad you said that because okay. a lot of people didn't know that. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no. I was really like, where I was concerned, like, where's the father? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, nah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Super uh, hey, man, that's I appreciate hey, you, much man. respect, much man. love, that's, okay. Hey, let me ask you this: since you fought Jamel Charlo, what do you think about you know any predictions for the fight this weekend? Because niggas are sleeping on Castano, Castano, because yeah, like, he's the last person that beat Earl Spence. Yeah, and he's undefeated. I mean, the dude is a, like a oh, straight four. He beat Earl in the amateur. Yeah, he was the, the last, last person, person to ever beat Earl. And he beat uh, the Russian. Ooh. What's the girl? Uh, the Russian name? Oh, uh, Sergey Dariyachenko. Yep, yep. Oh, he did? Yeah. In the amateurs. In the amateurs. And that's part old boy. He he cool. He nice. All right, all right. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. And I saw his fight with Laura. He, he, he could fight. So, I think it's going to be good. But the Charlos, one thing I will say about them is they fight good with their back against the wall. So, I feel like the, the other one, his brother just fought a couple weeks ago. He yeah. didn't do too great. He pulled it. He, he won clearly. Pulled it up. But he didn't do as good as anybody expected. That put a lot of pressure on this turtle, and they respond in the fight. You know, like these, mm. they they turn up when they bring it back against the wall. So I feel like his brother not doing that great probably helped him, honestly. What are you know what, what is what are some things that you can like tell us when you fought like Jamel? He was like, Oh, I didn't know he had that. Like, what is the one specific ability that he was like, oh, he shocked me by that we wouldn't even know that he possessed that kind of, you know. Skill. Um, I would say I don't think he really did anything too surprising because I thought he was good before the fight. You know, like I didn't go in there thinking he was trash. And I thought he was good, but he does. He does. He's very basic, but he has the basics down pat. And yeah. people sleep on people sleep on how important that is. Everybody looks for the flash, you know that. But the basics, uh, 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 like he's really good at keeping mm-hmm. his range, knowing his, you know what I'm saying, and throwing turning his punches over, counter punching, like nothing flashy. Just I mean, like. He's really good at that. So I feel like that's one of the things that people sleep on. Like Charlo doesn't, he's very relaxed. He's not trying too hard. Well, back when I fought him, he wasn't trying too hard. And he called me with a good shot coming in because the first round, I wasn't in really good shape. The first round, I feel like he won that round. So yeah. I was like, I got to be rough. He, he outboxed me. He's mm-hmm. like, I'm going to be rough. So second round came out. Actually, third round came out and started roughing him up. And it was working. Fourth round, roughing him up. Roughing him up. I won that round too. Fifth round, he realized what I was doing and sat back. And time me coming in with a nice yeah. shot, yeah. sat my dumb ass right down. You feel me? Like, so they're good. He's good. So I, I definitely don't want to see more of him. Um, but like you guys said, man, I fought the best of the best, man. Benavidez, yeah. all that. So I've got, hey, I've I, think, I think would it be a good, I mean, I mean, I'm not a matchmaker, but I'm like, we call he, all of them before this is Jamar. He, <laughs> oh, I'm he's, Jamar. He, he's the, he's the hood matchmaker, right? Okay, he, like he's, he, he, listen, if he says it, this was the streets want. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so go See, ahead. See, because I'm, 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 I'm what they call a boxing casual, you know, but I love boxing, you <laughs> know. You, I respect that you love it, but you know, you know who you are with it. That's what's yeah, up. Hey, what look at this shirt, 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 by the way. It be people that watch boxing, they swear they know what they talk hey, about now. Like, hey, what do you think about this shirt, by the way? Look at this shirt. What did it say? Read it. Fuck Britney, free Terrence Crawford. Wait, what happened? What's, what, what time is that? You tell us. Well, yeah, we, have you seen it? I have it. Okay, wait, wait. He, it just dawned on him. It just dawned on him. Terrence locked We're up. Terrence bro, we out here educating boxers. Bro, he didn't even know that. <laughs> he didn't bro, even he know. He, bro, he locked no, up, bro. No, no, not in jail. He in prison. He, yes, he is. Bob Aaron Penitentiary. Oh. <laughs> they call it top rank. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> This, y'all about to get me put money on his books and all that. <laughs> you should. My man said we got to start a GoFundMe. We're going to start a GoFundMe to free him from his contract, man, because we need to see <laughs> that boy out funny. there fighting. Nah, but I think I, I think uh, because I think this person needs to step up fight like Ammo did. Uh, I think uh, Nikita Abibi, a baby, uh, that, a that white baby. chocolate kid. Yeah, I think you and that motherfucker be dope as fuck, man. You know, so I mean, but what do I know? But that is what the streets said that they had won. Mama's boy and Nikita Abibi. You know, yeah, you know. I know you wouldn't run for anyone. Yeah, <laughs> okay. He doesn't go. He's a, he'll go fight. I'm with have him. you have you seen him? I've seen him like as an amateur, and I've seen like like a couple of his gotcha. fights. But he's not fight. He's not fighting nobody yet. Anybody. Exactly. That's what I'm but saying. you can see that he's a good little fighter. Though. He's a good I don't, fighter. I don't think they have put him in the ring with you just yet. Well, they got to call my phone. Hit my oh, line. I'm with whatever. Okay. Okay, let me ask you this before we get out of here. What you think about uh, Tank Davis and that, like, 135, 130, 140 squad? Like, you know, we always come up with scenarios, like, what's Tank next fight? 
And what do you see happening? You know, what the I, streets are saying out there in Vegas? I see nobody touching Tank. I think they need to leave that boy alone. I said he's the punching, thing. he's punching different. Be that man. When you see Tank, show him some respect and get out of here. Because okay. that boy is different. Like, have you sparred bro, him? Have I sparred him? No, no. I've been in the gym with him though, and I've seen a dead body. You feel me? Like, <laughs> oh fuck. That shit is real. That shit, so yeah. the power is real. The I'm dead, not gonna okay. lie to you, bro. Like, I've seen him put somebody down, they roll him out and throw somebody else in the ring. Like, what? That's <laughs> that's Tank okay. Davis. And this was this was years ago when he wasn't even as focused on the guy. You could you could see a difference in him. Like the past two camps. He bro, got a different mentality, bro. Because he's starting to believe, like, I'm that guy. Yeah. I'm that guy. So, like, Yo. And this, a diff- and this was before he must have knew he was that guy. Or that. He was still killing me. I seen so. You said they had to roll a motherfucker out. Like, bro, like you, like a, like like the stump man from Apollo. They just had the broom and just like, shut, get him up out of here. Serious, bro. Was the guy bigger? Like, was the guy bigger? Uh, not at the same time. Maybe a little bigger. Probably like walk around where he's probably a little bigger, but same spot, whoever. And like, I'm serious, bro. I've seen him. I'm not going to say the fighter's name, but I see him spar fighter, and then that fighter never been the same anymore. Like, he lost after that. Bro. Like, he changed his whole life because they let him spar too long. I'm like, well, I don't think he stopped it. That boy. That boy. <clears throat> yo, you said that boy beat him into a new career. He found God he, after that? And he changed his life, bro. Changed- that nigga sell insurance and life insurance at that. It's like, no, man. Don't play with life because I almost did. What? The only person. See the thing about his weight class, though. All those fights down there, bro, are, are lit. I guess. Yeah. Much. It's, it could be rock and scissors kind of energy with them because you. I feel like Shakur is probably one of the best boxers in the world. He, he loves. He loves Shakur. I'm not. No, no. 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 I like Chris Colbert. Oh, that's his guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, everybody, Wait, thank you. Thank why you, does everybody thank you, respond thank like you, that? Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I said nah, the same like, thing. You I understand? Said, you understand? I grew up like I've known Shakur since he was like six, bro. Like Shakur used to run around when he was eight years old, grabbing my girlfriend butt. Like the little nigga. What? Like, they're like, I know Shakur like that. So like that's really like Shakur. I really watched him become this all this guy that he is right now. It's so it's amazing, bro. Like, so who you think it went bro, out of him he, and Tank? Him and who? Him and Tank. Shakur and Tank. The Too small. Is, this, this is the thing about it. I think Shakur is better boxing wise, but Tank just got to touch that chin one time. Man. And I don't know, like. And he's going to do it. That's what scares me. So leave Tank alone. Leave Tank alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let that man get his money. What you say? When you see him, salute him and what get his money. Leave, leave. Okay, got what you. was she going to say about Lil, Lil B-Hop? B-Hop? As much as I don't like Lil B-Hop as a person, he from NY. A, he from New York. Yeah, he, he just talks a little bit too reckless to me. So I don't mm. like his mouth. But um, as a boxer, he is lit. Chris Cobra is super nice. But he just talks too crazy. So I mean, like, he's from this new generation where they used to talk on social media. They could say whatever because they don't got to see you in the face. Mm-hmm. I'm from the generation where if you talk crazy, I'm pulling up to your house. So, like, <laughs> yeah, you feel me? that's like, the difference. So he just right. does a little bit too much for me. But, um, but as a boxer, I can't. You feel me? Like, Who you think it went out of him and Shakur? I got Shakur over everybody. That's, that's a little bro. So I got Shakur over <laughs> everybody. All right. Well, yeah. listen, I, I see your mom sweeping. So, listen, we're going to... I know it's cleanup time. She was like, yo, wrap it up. Like, hey, yo, look. She's like, wrap it up. Yeah, exactly. Up. You yo. know, you boy, you supposed to be doing this. Look, so uh, we're going to... Tell us, like, one of the craziest stories you had, like, in sparring or or in your fight or some behind the scenes of your fight. Y'all getting ready. Like, one of your craziest... Right, boy, I got a crazy story. Since she's standing oh, right here. Since she's okay. standing right here. Oh, he already knew story. it. He already knew it. Okay. I got an interesting story. So, I was sparring. This was a minute ago. I'm sparring this kid. He just came in. He was pro, but and I was still young. I probably was like 14, bro. It's my favorite boxing story, though. Um, so I'm sparring this guy. Pro dudes, but I used to spar him. Zab, Oli Malanaji. So I, I've been in with pros when I was young. That's nothing. You feel me? Like, but they all, they know I'm 14. So pretty much, they work with me. Zab used to work with me a lot. Polly worked with me a lot. This kid, I happen to be getting the better of the work. He's pro, so I guess he got frustrated. Because I talk reckless, too. I'm, I'm in your ear like, ah. I'm trash. Like, I talk little, I talk reason. So I wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I won't interrupt you. Bruh, you talking reckless and you get mad at Chris Colbert for talking crazy? Yes, because he talks reckless. He said to you personally. It's, it's a difference between me and the ring, bro. You could just, you could talk spicy in the ring because we okay, fight. All right, all right, all right. Outside the ring, show me some respect. I got you. Right, right. And Chris, Chris does stuff where it's like, who you talk to, little nigga? Like, don't think this is like, bro. This is deep in the Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Get back to your story. Anyway, my bad. Yeah. So I'm talking spicy to the pro dude. He can a little annoyed, whatever. 
So I'm doing my thing. I hit him. I hit, the bell rings and he gets frustrated. He punched me after the bell. Like, boom. Now we're in Brooklyn. He punched me after the bell. Before I, I could do anything, she hops in the ring. This is a grown man. She hops in the ring. He has an open face. I get she punches him right in the face. Like, what are you doing? That's my son. Punches him in the face. So, like, I'm like, <gasps> My mom, because he got people with him. He got people with him. I'm like, oh, it's about to be a gym because my uncle's in the gym, my cousin's in the gym, and they be outside. You feel me? So, like, so I'm like, this is about to get ugly. She don't care, though. So she, ah, uh, he looks over at my, my uncle gets up, my cousin gets up, everybody gets up. And so then he like, he like, my bad. Mom. And I'm like, yo, my mom really has clout. Like, that's the latest story to me ever. Like, you want, my mom jumped the ring and punched a pro box in the face. Who mom? Who else mom do that? Who was the boxer? It don't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Like, Damn. He's trying to get niggas locked up. Damn, hey, hey. Damn man. Why she do? Why she do Caleb Plant like that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he put the phone down. He put the phone. Down. My man was close. <laughs> uh, no. No. But yeah, like it's been like, man, to pick one moment in boxing that I could say is my favorite so hard because like I'm doing stuff that I shouldn't be able to do. So it's like for me, like between my record, between my mom being my trainer, all that, like the meetings I'm in, the rooms I'm in around Floyd. Being a ring with certain people is just like unbelievable, bro. So like, hey, hey Dennis, but can your mom like like other than that sucker punch? Can she fight? No, you ever see her fight can you, somebody? Can you fight? Oh, she walked back to you. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. Oh <laughs> shit. Thank you. Uh, That's all hey, I, I want I, to know. I, I ain't going to hold you. Hey, cause, cause, you bro. Cause the street saying Ann her. Wolf and her will be a good setup. That's yeah, all. I've I seen her spar for, but I've never seen her straight fight in the street. She always told me that she was a killer back in the days, but she ain't never, I ain't never seen no work. You feel me? Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, real nah, killers, seen, real always, killers don't always, show their work always, though. She always pressing people, but everybody always back down so I can never see. Like it was one time we was in the car, somebody gave her a middle finger. So she popped the curb, hopped out on I'm like, yo, so what up? Yeah. Oh. And, the, and the person was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So she always backs everybody down. So I don't know. I'm waiting for the one person that pulls her card. Like, all right. Yo, mom's, mom's got anger issues. I don't know she if mom's okay. I mean, she gave it up now. We we got fair people now. You yeah. Know, like, <laughs> back in, back in Bring pops back in. I need to know <laughs> his mentality. <laughs> now he he on that same type of time. What you uh, mean? Yeah, you didn't have a chance. You had to be mama's bro. Boy. Listen, right. my pops is West Indian. My mom's from Brooklyn. They play no games. <laughs> yeah, That's you got same. brothers and shit. I got a little brother and an older sister, and they on the same type of time too. Oh, oh shit! All right. All right. But shout out to the. Shout out to the whole Mama's Boy family, man. Nah, we appreciate yeah. you, bro. Real talk. Yeah, thank you for so time, much OG. for like, yo, taking your time out in the gym. August 28th. Shout out everything you need right, to shout out. Before, before, I, before I go, though, yeah. I, got, I got some questions because y'all always doing the questions. I want to... I Bucks is always... Me. Hey, Bucks is always do this to us, bro. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, yo. Go ahead, go ahead. And, go no, ahead. and no, I'm not... And no, I'm not that nigga from... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so look, so just to clarify... We had like uh, Kenny Sims on. We had Sean Porter on, and they always like I seen him from somewhere. No, I was not in Fat Albert. Now go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you do look like. <laughs> ah! How do you oh, see it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I got some boxing questions. I like talking to people about boxing. See where y'all is at. Because if y'all if y'all give me dumb answers, then we just I'm comics like, right now, brother. We don't we don't. Okay, so I right, just shoot. expect dumb answers though. Alright, as long as the dumb answer kind of still makes sense. All right, sure. go ahead, go ahead, talk to me. Bet. Um, who wins between Canelo and David Benavidez? Go, go ahead, let you uh, know. I think Canelo definitely wins because David Benavidez leave his body open, okay. and, and, and and he was taking some body shots from Durrell like that, like that. I and he was just getting hit by Durrell. Where I'm just like, man, if Canelo would have did that shit, he would have fucked. He would have killed that nigga. But I kind of disagree because he was breaking them down Durrell in a certain way that we're he talking about to... strength wise though. Like strength wise, like yeah. Durrell ain't the same strength as a. Uh... He's a dog. Oh, I, don't know. I, I think so. Well, I... <laughs> is he though? Oh, oh, you you, know? you tell me you've been in there with his him. nickname is the dog. That's what I'm saying. Hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> he a dog. Hey, them knockouts ain't coming from in, from nowhere. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I think I think Canelo still no one's beating Canelo. I think he said Benavidez though. Nah, hell no. I just say he was uh, he'll fight who Canelo. Got, who y'all got with Spencer Pacquiao? Oh, so I've been yeah. going back and forth because I just I'm so out here. Pacquiao's in wild card, right? And uh, you know he we run and and uh, he sometimes I go to the gym and see what he look like, bro. He look young, but also I know you know Tommy uh, Tommy Hill. 
You know Tommy. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, Tommy. You know he close to Earl Spence. So again, I talked to him. He was like, "Bro, Earl gonna mop him." So I don't, I don't. I'm back and forth with two both camps. I, I, I gotta go with Spence. I believe Earl Spence is gonna uh, is gonna stretch Manny Pacquiao, and Manny Pacquiao will leave that ring six foot two. But like only five five. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how like that's how much Earl gonna yeah, stretch you. Like so I, you guys, I mean, yeah. have you guys done boxing training? Yeah, yeah. Have, right? yeah, 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 yep, 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 bro. When I come, when hey, I come to Vegas. hey, when we come to Vegas, set him up with some sparring, man. And then we no, go, I am a comedian. We're gonna put, we're gonna put, we're gonna put, we're gonna spar, bro. It's gonna be, yeah, hey, I'm not that, I'm not that guy that tries to be, <laughs> nah, up, bro. Fun with it. Hey, spar him and tell everybody, like, bro, we got somebody on a podcast that, like, yo, want to get in the ring, like, you know, reach out to David B. DeVitez. The Caleb plants. Fine, fuck it. If I gotta fight them niggas, I guess I gotta fight them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you don't even know, bro. Like for a minute back in the days, I want to spar you too, cause like we was both. <laughs> we could get it. Man. Hold on, hold on, now, Monica boy. Hey, we, we, on Cutaway oh. Podcast, we don't run from work. Listen, we don't listen, run. Listen, okay, go ahead. Was, this yeah. was. So I ain't gonna say no names, but I already know you gonna know who I'm talking about when I say this. Okay. So there was a chick, right? That I was kind of digging. Like, we never messed around with nothing. I was kind of digging her. But right. she was digging you. And I'm like, listen, tell that funny nigga to come out here and spawn me that. I'm oh, like, what? Uh, I, think, I think I know you're talking about. Yeah. You know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know you're you talking about. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm yeah. like, she, so she talking about, yeah, I'm going to such and such to see him perform. Yeah. Da, 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 and I'm like, I'm going to spawn it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, there's always over women, bro. Yeah, you, you, know, you know niggas is petty, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's like Birdo and Floyd. That's what they was fighting over the whole time. For real? Yeah. Bro, how do you know all this inside information? Who you talk to? Bro, he's a boxing <laughs> casual, bro. I, I, bro, bro, I, I, that's my soap opera. I'm like, what is he? Like, he got all the teeth. Bro, he got everything. Well, <laughs> well you know Tim was locked up. <laughs> How you know all this information, bro, bro? I'm such, bro, I'm such a fucking geek, dog. That's all I do. That's my soap opera. <laughs> so Andre Birdo and Floyd is fighting over a, a girl? <laughs> I think Not, so. It, well, of course, yeah. That's why he stuck his tongue out, and she was like, "F you." But again, uh, that's a, allegedly. We'll just keep the streets. Yeah, man. Yeah, but my man, my so man. I'm nah, nah, so I'm coming out to vape. So I'm coming out to vape. Y'all starting some shit. I'm about to go to Floyd <laughs> tomorrow. Like, hey, yo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, two yo, niggas don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> tell him, tell him to come on the podcast. Hey, look, so we got to, <laughs> we go out to Vegas. We go out to Vegas. Set my man up with some spawn. Yeah, please, man, hey, please. I got you, bro. Real talk, bro. bro. Right. Like I said, we could work. Well, people be hitting out. I'll get you work. That's not stupid. Ain't nobody yeah. trying. If, if a boxer tries to hit you for real, they're a combo. Feel me? Like that's yeah. how that's how I look at they it. They can hit me for real. If I get knocked out, I'll just learn from it. Nah, nah. nah he been nah, he, man. He's tested. Like I took him to wild card. He's tested any trades and fortunes. Like he's been in there with. Some and my people. amateur record is one knockout, one win. Yeah, <laughs> and that's all he need. That's all he need. I say you undefeated, right? Here. Exactly, <laughs> bro. So again, he can keep that. You and the nigga I, right now. And the nigga I fought looked like a looked like a body bag already though. So <laughs> like it was. He said, he said the dude he fought like the uppercut bag. <laughs> just round yeah, and full of full of I water. Definitely, I definitely got you, bro. You already know. Yeah. Oh, for sure, I'm for sure. I'm, I'm on a different type of time about boxing, bro. I'm trying yeah. to really show people the crap and, and really open the boxing up to the everyday person. You feel me? Like you just said, you're a boxing casual, yeah. but you like the sport. The world tried to convince us, or boxing tried to convince us that you can't do boxing because you can't play boxing. You yeah. Yes, you can, my nigga. Come play boxing. You ain't going, you're not going pro. So why you can't play boxing? You feel me? Like, so right, that's, right, the, right. That's, the I'm, that's the energy I'm trying to give in my gym. Like, I've trained casuals. I've mean, trained casino hosts, um, you me? bank workers, you feel me? Like, that had a nine to five they come, but they really learn in boxing. You feel me? Like, some of my casinos could probably be some niggas from city boxing up right now. You feel me? Like, yeah. that's what it is. You feel me? Like, you, you give me you for like three weeks, bro. I ain't. Man, hold on, bro. I, I need my man. Hold on, don't do that. Hey, look, hey, mama's boy, chill. You better chill. Look, what? hey, nah. tell every <laughs> I'm a, nigga. I ain't getting slapped. <laughs> hey, look, hey, we can talk to you all day, bro. But look, we gotta get out of here. Tell him, tell everybody where they can find you. Tell them what you got lined up. Everything, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely make sure. First off, salute for you guys for reaching out. I appreciate this. Appreciate story. you. Um, follow me on Instagram at mama's boy underscore Dennis. That's with one N. My Dennis is different. And then um, mm. or, or on Twitter at the mama's boy, D-A, mama's boy. My name is Dennis Dugman on Facebook. Um, I don't have TikTok, but I'm about to get one. Um, so bro. just stay tuned. I'm playing um, August 28th. It's going to be my first car. It's Hills and Promotions. My mom's first. So a black woman 
who has oh, yeah. never boxed before, has become a trainer, trained his son to be world ranked, opened the gym in New Jersey and Las Vegas, and is now a promoter. So we like we we really knocking walls down, bro. It's it's, it's an amazing feeling, but being related to his lady, like that's love. Dope, so where um, where's the fight gonna be? Mexico City. Oh shit! But it's, not Vegas gonna be, but it's not gonna be like those typical Mexican fights where you go to Mexico and you yeah. buy a you buy a win. You feel me? That's what it's typically looking like. We changing that. Like we're using Mexico because it's just been a lot easier financially to throw a card out there than it is in the state. Gotcha. But it's gonna be real boxing against real opponents. Like I'm not fighting somebody that's ten and thirty two fighting a real opponent. You're gonna, you're gonna get right. So I got right. some good fighters on the card. Um, that I'm going to talk about after we officially announce. We haven't okay. announced yet, just kind of know the back end stuff. But we got some dope fighters on the car. Another a great fighter from the amateurs making his pro debut on the car. It's going to be it's going to be lit, bro. So it's cool that to put my mom put me in a, in a lane as a black man to really like give other people opportunities to shine. You know, like so that's what I'm doing. Like I met, I've been out here for a while. It's a bunch of boxers that don't get the respect they deserve, like a Quantavious Cash. Tommy Hill, for example, yeah. when he was still boxing, but he, he stepped back a little bit. But um, those kind of fighters that are lit, but just don't have the the, the fan base that these promoters want, so promoters milk them. Yeah. I'm gonna give those kind of fighters the opportunity to fight and make money because you, for my cards, I'm not gonna have you have to buy. You don't have to buy a slot and pay for your opponent. You just get paid based on streams. So. If you are popular, you can make people watch the fight. I'm gonna give you a percentage of the streams that we get. That's it. So it's gonna be like that. And on top of that, I'm gonna pay you. So um, I'm just trying to change how it's done because I feel like boxing promoters and managers do us dirty, bro. Like as yeah. boxers, we get yeah. done dirty. Like I've I've found out as since I've been a promoter now and I'm in meetings that I shouldn't have been in or wouldn't have been there before. I hear how they talk about us. And like I see like there's so much money I should have made that I that they didn't even tell me about. You know I mean, like, so I'm just trying to be different for the young up and coming fighters, just to have somebody that's been through it and not gonna make you go through it. Because you feel me, like, there's yeah. some people that been through shit and now that they out of it, you be like, well, I've been through it, so you go through. It. But I'm trying to change it. Like, I've been through it, so you don't have to. You feel me, like, that's what I'm trying to do. All right, bro. Sure. Hell yeah, bro. Keep uh, creating a lane, bro. Keep stepping up. We appreciate you, man. And listen, bro. We'll see you soon. That's a fact, bro. I appreciate y'all again, man. Thank you. All right, bro. Be All safe. All right, Dennis. Be All safe, right, bro. bro. Dennis.